It's been a while, probably about two years since Daniel and I have made a video, so we're gonna make one about the Arc 7. First things first, we got a uh, fully built studded engine by Rotary Engine Works. Half bridge, probably makes around 550, 600 turned up. With the Garrett 35R, all the goodies, titanium, Garrett intercooler on ethanol, two Hellcat pumps. Oh yeah, all the stuff, swirl pot, but honestly, that's it's pretty simple. It's uh, tuned on link. Seven Sins tuned it. All right, so this is the interior of my ARC-7. Um, the most you know, unusual thing about this thing is it actually has a uh, E36 Big Duck Club carbon dash. I got that from Big Duck Club and I just thought it'd be cool to uh, put an E36 dash in here so it'd kind of feel like home, kind of like my E36 would. Keyed for performance, uh, wired this whole entire car with the fuse box here, switches, uh, kill switch, all that. My link um, dash up here. ASD handbrakes in literally all my cars because I don't trust anything else. Um, Sparco seats. Legal for pro-am competitions, got rugged radios. I'm kind of particular about my interiors because I spend most of my time in here. Um, I got uh, door cards coming for this thing just so it kind of cleans it up a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, SFI, race quip, shifter boot just so if it does catch on fire, which it might, it's an RX-7, so. Um, it just kind of keeps the fire out here, so, yep. The exterior is nothing exciting. Um, when I got the car, it had these molded quarters on it. I mean, they're not really molded, but they're actually like kind of glued on. Um, I need to change that at some point. It's got, I got a whole new body kit for it, a BN Sports. Um, a good buddy of mine, Andy Crutcher, made this roof wing. It's actually pretty baller. Um, it's uh, water jetted out of uh, stainless steel. Of course, we run Vitor tires on every car I have, and also carbine design wheels, rest in peace. Uh So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on the exterior. Stock Turbo 2 welded diff, uh, PBM suspension bits here in the back. And in the front, it's got an old school PBM angle kit. They don't really make many angle kits for these RX-7s, so the only option really is FDF, so I might switch to that just because this old uh, PBM kit is just a modified knuckle version. Um, and it's not the best, so. Other than that, it's got a Turbo 2 hood, which is kind of dumb of me because they're really expensive, so. Um, I might put a fiberglass one on there at some point just so I can save that. Um, but other than that, super simple. S5 tail lights. I already smashed one. So, um, yeah, that's it. Yay.